Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I have our bedroom set up for a newborn. I am currently a little over 36 weeks pregnant while I'm filming this and it is a lovely snowy day. We just got about six inches of snow last night and so it's feeling all nice and cozy and warm in here and so I figured it would be a perfect time to show you how I've kind of got our bedroom set up and where I have some of his different items. I just had my first baby, my daughter, last year. So I kind of know a little bit more what I'm doing this time and I just have everything set up the same way I used it with her and it worked really great last time. I've already done a minimalist baby essentials video that I will link for you guys below, but I figured I would do this more as just a vlog style showing you what I have right now for when he's first born to like just the first month or so. It's not super fancy, but I've gotten a, quite a few questions about it, and this is just what works great for us. So let's get right into this. So here's our bed. This is just nothing fancy in here because we are remodeling right now. So he is going to just sleep with me in our bed right here when he's first born, probably for like the first three months. And that's what I do with my daughter, and it worked really well for us. And I love co-sleeping, so. And I also have this bassinet, this rock and play bassinet here that I'll set him in for naps or just if I need to set him down and take care of my daughter. And this was just really nice because I really love the shape because it makes them feel really safe and like protected and like more like you're holding them than just laying somewhere flat. Back in this corner I have my box of birth supplies. That's just my home birth kit and I have a video where I go more in detail about everything that's in that box. So if you're curious, I will link that below. And then right here, I just have a bin of like swaddles and blankets and the baby wrap and different things. A couple little baby outfits that he'll need just for the first week. And then after that, I have his dresser of clothes upstairs. But for the first week, I won't be walking up the stairs. So I figured I would just show you a little bit more of a close up of what exactly is in this bin. Cause baby blankets and clothes are just the cutest things anyway. So, so first I have swaddles. I have a lot of swaddles because I, I love muslin, muslin swaddle blankets and they just work so well and they're so multi-purpose. You can use them for wiping up stuff and for swaddling your baby and once you get the hang of it, you can get them in there so tight where they would never get out. So, but you have to practice a little bit. So first I have a couple little swaddles that my dear friend actually made for me. There's one with a fox print, which I love, and a, uh, like a jungle animal print. Super cute. And I have a zebra swaddle. This one I got in my Amazon welcome box. And then just a mustard yellow. This is my favorite ever. I just love mustard yellow and this was the first swaddle that we put my daughter in and it's gonna be the first swaddle we put my son in. And this is just kind of my go-to favorite swaddle. I have a really gorgeous knit swaddle and it's like really stretchy. I have never tried one of these before but someone got me this for his baby shower and I'm super excited to try it out because I've only ever used the muslin swaddle so I'm just really curious to see how this works but it's really big and so this will be fun to try and I love that color. I have a baby wrap here. This is just the Cuddlebug brand baby carrier and I'm actually going to be also getting a Boba brand baby carrier which is a little more lightweight, a little more high quality because I wasn't a huge fan of this one but I'll get that when I'm a little closer. I have just a few little white receiving blankets that Luke's grandma actually made for us so they're really special and these are just really nice to have around for wiping things up or just, just whatever you need them for. And then just a few more little random swaddle blankets. I use so many swaddle blankets and you go through them really fast with spit up and all the stuff, so I have a lot of swaddle blankets. And then I also just have three little baby outfits. This newborn onesie with feet and a zipper, this will probably be his first outfit just because it's so easy and it's the right, right size and it's really cute. I actually think this is one of the outfits my mom gave me from when my brother was a newborn, so it's just kind of special that a lot of the clothes I have for Demetrius are ones that my brother used when he was a baby. And then just another onesie. This one is a button one, which I'm not as much of a fan of, but... And then I just have a little newborn onesie. So just those three outfits plus a hat for just the first few days probably. When he's first born, he'll just go right on me and have a lot of skin-to-skin -skin contact and not really need a hat as often. And then as he gets a little bit older and I'm maybe setting him down a little bit more or like letting other people hold him, I'll probably put a hat on him if he's not right on my skin. So that's all I have in that bin. And then over here at the foot of the bed, I have all of our cloth diaper stash. And that's because we do all the diaper changing just on our bed because it's at a nice height and we don't have room 
in our little house for a changing table. So we just use whatever is around, which is normally just the bed. So right here is just a bin of clock wipes. I have a bunch of different kinds and brands. And we got, we finally got enough wipes now that we have enough for two babies that I decided to just separate it into a separate bin. I used to just have everything in one bin. And so now the wipes have their own bin because there's a lot of them. This is my daughter's cloth diaper bin, and you can see a lot of them are dirty right now because she uses them. And then back here is the little baby's cloth diaper bin. And I will do an updated cloth diaper stash. I've done one when I was just cloth diapering for my daughter, and I'll link that for you guys below, but I'll do an updated one with both of the kids' cloth diaper stashes because I have a lot more cloth diapers. But I just wanted to show you a couple of these little newborn cloth diapers. They are the tiniest, little things ever and I cannot wait to put him in these. So that's where we just keep all the diapering stuff so everything's just right, really nice and handy. All the things that we use like all the time are just right here in this room because I probably won't be leaving the bed for a while <laughs> after he's born. So it'll be nice to just have everything like right there. And so now we're upstairs in my daughter's bedroom actually and so on this side is her crib and her dresser and then over on the side is Demetrius's dresser. And this room just has a lot of space right now and there's not a lot of space for a whole nother dresser downstairs and I'm really tired of sharing my dresser with a baby. I'm pretty minimalist but I also have a really small dresser so I was just really glad that they each have their own dresser now because <laughs> for her first year I just shared a drawer with her. So having his dresser up here isn't going to be a huge deal because I have to walk up here to get her in the morning and get her clothes out of her dresser so I'll just grab his clothes when I go get her anyway. But I'll just show you kind of what we have in this dresser. It's a very minimalist wardrobe right now, and that's totally fine because babies don't really need all that much, and I do so much laundry with cloth diapering anyway that I'll just wash this stuff more often and not have as much clutter, so. So here in the top drawer, we have just a lot of socks, some adorable little shoes that some friends made for us. This is hats, little newborn hats, and for when he's a little older and a lot of cute bibs. I'm so excited to use these. They're all adorable. And then down in the second drawer, oh no, there's some things that aren't organized. These are just some little baby onesies that are super cute. I love the colors on this one. But we just have a sweater, these are pajamas, and then these are all onesies or pajamas. So this is more like the tops drawer, I guess. And if you guys are curious to see like each individual item that's in his wardrobe, just let me know and I can do a whole video on that because he has some really cute outfits. And then down here is his pants drawer, which you can see there is not very much in it right now because when they're babies, they normally just wear pajamas or onesies. So I don't have very many pants. And then down in this bottom drawer are just some extra crib sheets and his extra blankets will go over here when I see how many I actually need downstairs. So that is pretty much everything that we have set up for our newborn. It's really simple and minimalist, but since we're going to be co-sleeping and breastfeeding and he's going to be just born here at home, there's not a ton that we actually need. So I just like to keep things simple and not have a huge amount of stuff around. But hopefully you guys enjoy just seeing how we have everything set up and just kind of our plan. And I'm so, so excited for when he actually gets here and we can actually do some of this stuff. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.